Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making beef stroganoff in the Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am the second oldest from SixSisterStuff.com. And today I'm sharing with you one of my, I always call them my favorite, because every recipe I make in the Instant Pot is like my new favorite. So it is one of my new favorites. It is beef stroganoff in the Instant Pot. It's another dump and go recipe. And in case you didn't know, every Monday I'm posting a new Instant Pot recipe around lunchtime so you can be ready for dinner. And if you haven't done so, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and then push that little bell so you can get all of my Instant Pot posts every Monday. All right guys, let's head on to the kitchen and we'll make this beef stroganoff right inside your Instant Pot. And for those who don't have an Instant Pot, I didn't forget about you. There's gonna be a slow cooker link in the description below. So I put a little olive oil in the bottom of my Instant Pot, pushed saute, and then I have stew meat that I threw in. Now I'm putting garlic salt, salt, and pepper in there. And now I'm just gonna mix it around so it will sear the meat just a little bit. So I'm gonna let it sear for just about two to three minutes and then I'll add some other things. So on top of the meat, you're just gonna add some onions. I did half of an onion, but you can do a whole onion. Then add half a teaspoon of garlic or one garlic clove. And then I added a whole container of mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add them in, but I love them, so I added a lot. Then you're just gonna mix it all up for a little while while your Instant Pot is still on saute. You'll notice that the Instant Pot recipe is a little bit different than the slow cooker recipe and we're going to add two tablespoons of flour right now and then mix it all together. Alright, then we're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you call it, it's that sauce. One tablespoon of it right on top. And then you're going to pour three cups of beef broth right on top. And you'll have one cup left if you have a container like that keep that because we're gonna put that in later on. All right, our food is ready to cook. We're gonna go ahead and put the lid on now. Make sure that it seals tightly and that it's on sealing, not venting. Now, mine is on saute right now, so I'm gonna turn it off. Then I'm gonna push the manual button and go up to 12 minutes. Now, if you're curious about cooking times, I have a little cheat sheet right here or in the description, I'll send a link so you can go find it there also. Now, usually with me, I like to let it release on its own, but right now we're doing a quick release because I wanna get the noodles in and cooked. Now, as soon as all the pressure is released, go ahead and take off the lid. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna add about 16 ounces of egg noodles. Now, when I'm done dumping it in, I'm gonna stir it around a little bit. If there is lots of moisture in there, go ahead and don't add any beef broth, but I felt like I needed just a little bit more, and so I added about a half a cup more of beef broth. So now you're gonna close the lid again, make sure that it's on sealing again, and then we're gonna cook it. So you're gonna to have to turn your Instant Pot off again, then push manual and go down to four minutes. That's how long noodles take to cook. Now when it's all done, I did a quick release because my kids were ready to eat and I was starving too. So go ahead and take the lid off. Then you're gonna take one cup of sour cream and just pour it right in. You wanna do this right after the lid is off because it was still gonna be really hot. Now go ahead and mix in your sour cream. Now if you noticed, mine has a little bit more liquid than I would like. You can go ahead and keep the saute button on and it will thicken up because of the flour that you put in there. Now, if you don't like egg noodles, you can serve this over potatoes or rice. You add the sour cream into the meat instead of into the noodles at the end. Well guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and if you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe to us. Make sure to come by next Monday for another Instant Pot Monday. All right guys, see you later.